I ordered from someone on eBay a Paul Canerco autograph card, and also I saw that they had a list, a, a listing for 200 insert cards. Uh, we're going into some mystery in a second here, but first off, I just wanted to show you this card. This is just a really beautiful, uh, love it. As a White Sox fan, the 05 championship team, Paul Canerco was just a one of our favorite players <laughs> as uh, Sox fans. Number to 49, and this one kind of celebrates his, I think it's slugging percentage or total bases. Yeah, 4,083 career total bases. Nice signature with his number on it. Very happy to get this card. All right, so on the eBay listing, they had, they, they showed a whole bunch of, if not all of the insert cards, and then this came in and it said he couldn't find the original 200 cards that he put in the listing and um, said, so hopefully these replacements are acceptable, which sounds crazy shady, right? Total bait and switch. Except he also says uh, to say, I'm sorry, I threw in some bonus cards, which I've already seen those bonus cards, and I'll show you at the end because they are really good. They're surprisingly um, nice cards to be sending out. Uh, so I'm thinking that I'm going to be okay with whatever's in here because he already made good with the other cards. Plus, you know, I didn't really care too much. I thought uh, that would be a fun fun break, all sorts of different years and types of cards. And But now uh, it's, it's even more fun because I have no idea what's in here. You can see that there's some die cut cards, um, but I really just have no idea. So let's uh, get started. Jim Rice, Topps Serial Series. 84, 1984 is this one. Set that off to the side now. Hopefully we get some more more modern ones. Die cut ones are really bizarre in the background here. Okay, we got Justin Ruggiano. Of course we're not gonna get anything crazy, I wouldn't assume, but still might be people I like. And uh, these are not numbered. These are from 2014. And J.D. Martinez. Here is a small Bowman Chrome, Corey Seager. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That is a really pretty card. Um, it was so odd when Bowman started to do stuff like this. And we have a Bowman Chrome die cut series next, Yesayel Puig. That is a gorgeous card as well. Edgar Martinez, David Ortiz, Timeless Talents. How true is that? One current Hall of Famer, one soon to be Hall of Famer. We have another smaller card, Byron Buxton who is a phenomenal center fielder, maybe the best in the game today, among the best in the game today. Unfortunately, on the injured list in the moment, we have a, a maybe they don't like the small cards, just like, I'm not a huge fan of these small cards, but um, I am a fan of Francisco Lindor. So there's a Bowman Chrome, I'm guessing this is from last year. This looks so familiar. Uh, no, it's 2015. Future star, Jorge Soler. I love that I'm getting Topps Chrome and Bowman cards in here. What do we have next? Oh, Michael Conforto, Perspectives. Yeah, these are nice cards. Uh, I, I'm loving this crazy variety. Although, who knows? I'm still skeptical. Like, okay, well, all the good ones are up front, and then there's going to be a lot of garbage coming up, which might be the case, but, you know, it's part of the adventure. Bryce Harper, Award Winners. I never buy Topps Heritage, so that's a card I would never have gotten otherwise. First Bowman card, Kevin Pillar. One of the best, most fun to watch outfielders in the game. Brandon Belt, rookie card. There's a crazy texture on there, like a cracked ice type of thing. Tops Diamond from 2011. <laughs> Fukudome, there's a name you haven't heard in a while. Rookie card from Upper Deck. That's another name you haven't heard in a while, Upper Deck. Greg Maddox. Oh, boy, this was a, a mistake card because there's no gloss on here. And I remember that would happen from time to time in those mid-90s Fleer cards, or Ultra, I should say. I love that series. Oh, and I remember this, where you got different players on both sides. Nolan Ryan on the back. Or, Greg Maddox on the back. Nolan Ryan on the front. Love that. Paul Molitor, Epics, from Pinnacle. We have Power Brokers, Roger Clemens. Tony Gwynn, that's neat with the map background of uh, Southern California. L.A. and San Diego just over his shoulder there. Noma, Garcia Parra, Greg Maddox, 96 Dream Team, score. Stan the Man, Musil, 
Rookie idols. Well, I see Jim Tomey in the foreground, and oh my god! So this is a Jim Tomey rookie. That's awesome. <laughs> with with Rhino in the background. I love that. I love me some Jim Tomey. And who doesn't love Ken Griffey Jr.? That one being from Triple Play, 1990. Barry Larkin here, Upper Deck, Diamond Collection. Jeff Bagwell, Rookie of the Year card. Excellent. Mark McGuire, Home Run Record. This is hitting number 28. I, I remember there was a series that had a card for each of his 70-some home runs. However many he ended up with, was it? 72, was that Bonds or was that him? Heading to the Hall, that one is just damn right. Kirby Puckett. There we go, Frank Thomas. I didn't buy many. At this point in time, late 90s, I was in high school. I was kind of busy with the ladies. Well, trying to be at least. Uh, so I wasn't buying too many cards, so that's when I don't have. Edgar Martinez, Sweet Strokes. That is cool. First pitch, Pudge Rodriguez. Juan Gon from Pinnacle. Wow. Ryan Sandberg, Pinnacle, Epics. Epic play, Epics play. That is hypnotizing. Mike Stanton. Oh, this is really neat. Look at that. Leagues of the Nation. And it is uh, velvety to the touch. Matt Williams. Boy, there's so many people whose name was running through my head there, but Matt Williams was not <laughs> on that list. Oh, and on the back we have... Oh, Jeff Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell is on the back. It says it right there. All right, sweet stroke for Ken Griffey Jr., and RBI King, Ken Griffey Jr. from 97 Fleer. 97 Ultra, I should say. All-Star Moments, number to 199. We have Cal Ripken Jr. And a framed Diamond King from 2004. Wow, I didn't know they were doing that back then. Number to 100. If anybody likes to collect a certain player you see here, or maybe you're finishing off a set, and you're looking for a card I happen to be showing, just let me know. Uh, we have... Don Russ, Extra Edition, 2004, number two, 1,000, Brooks Robinson. Jimmy Key, 50th Anniversary, Fractal Foundation. Melvin Mora from Top's Finest. Oh, I was going to say, that's not an insert, but it is number 299. Very iconic photo there of Roberto Clemente. Hank Aaron. John Carlos Stanton from Top's Chrome. Andy Pettit. Wow, that is super three-dimensional. Oh, and, and kind of transparent, too. Christian Arroyo, Freshman Flash. Hank Aaron. Aaron Sanchez from Heritage. So wild when they, uh, and it's a purple border. I don't know if that means anything, but um, when Heritage does these occasional foil cards, chrome cards. Henry Owens, Prism from 2016. Tops Chrome. Got a nice rainbow there of Hank Aaron. A mini card, Justin Verlander. Mike Schmidt, home run crown, chasing history. Classic walk offs, Johnny Bench. Jamison Tallian, Chrome. Carlos Correa, Bowman, 2014. So, very, very young player when that one came out. That is bizarre looking. Michael Fulmer, Stadium Club. That is that is cut out. That frame is cut out. InstaVision. Very neat card. And man, he seemed like he was going to be the next big thing, like the next JV in Detroit, and haven't heard too much of him lately. Bryce Harper, kind of a small square card, odd size. And you don't have to worry about bending the corner on one of these. Then and now, Trevor Story. Some chrome from 2017. Scoreless Street, Chris Sale, Stadium Club. That must be super recent since he's in Boston here. Yeah, 2017. And David Ortiz. Trading card history. We have Corey Seager perspectives. I love these pers perspective cards. Chris Bryant, Rookie Cup, and it is the Holiday Tops that came out last year, end of last year. Bernie Williams, Rookie Card Flashback from Bowman Chrome. Uh, Future Star, very true, of Jock Peterson. Rookie performer Blake Snell, Didi Gregorius, and Starlin Castro. Babe Ruth from Hurler to Hitter. Wow, that is a gorgeous Topps card from 2011. Bobby Doerr, Jimmy Fox, that is cool. A Rod, Major Power, Bowman 2000. 
Willie Mays, Golden Standard. Ken Griffey Jr., USA Baseball. Giancarlo Stanton, this is a 2016 Topps Chrome. Sophomore standout, Carlos Correa. Season veteran, David Wright. Yes, I L Puig, and that has the, uh, the glittery and textured snowflakes on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember these, 1991 Upper Deck. Hank Aaron. Another Griffey. And this one is from uh, 2016. Looking back at his draft pick. Tom Glavine, pitching at Wrigley Field. A-Rod. Leaf Limited, Albert Pujols, team leader, still with the cards. Barry Bonds, I think I already had this one. I think a lot of people had this one. Walter Johnson, what is this from? That's kind of an oddball card. I was, I was expecting a lot of stuff like that, which, you know, you'd understand for the low amount. But Ichiro, chasing 3,000 hits, that celebrates his 1,500th. More of these uh, tops cereal, Rod Carew and Eddie Murray. I wonder if there's a, a market for those if people try to collect that. Recently sold a 1996 Cardinals team set I got as a giveaway at a Cardinals game. I thought it would sit there forever and it sold in less than a day on eBay. It's a post serial 50 years with tops. Uh, Pudge Rodriguez, Nolan Ryan, a sticker there. But boy, it looks like the old Bowman card. 1981 Fleer, I should say. Fleer, not Bowman. Pujols. Ernie Banks, Honus Wagner, and Tops 2000. Al Kaline, Gold Standard. Chipper Jones. Uh, Bo Jackson. Always going to hold on to a White Sox card. 1991. Pie Trainer. That was a little bit damaged, but no biggie. Ooh, mystical futuristic holograms. Wade Boggs. Special effects, they call it. This is Upper Deck SP. Albert Pujols. A-Rod and Metal Universe Magnetic Field. Wow, got another die cut card, a little bit of damage on it. Uh, Raul Mondesi, there we go. That's funny that one was cut out and the other was not. No, but you see, I, I was afraid that somebody actually cut it themselves like a kid, took a their scissors to it, but the number's in a different place, so that was by design. Alrighty. Hideo Nomo, five star finest. Lord to the Diamond, Mike Piazza. Sandy Koufax, 63 MVP winner. Breakthrough, Carlos Correa, top's finest. Love that. Aaron Sanchez, another prism. Ultra from 95, Greg Maddox showing off his uh, grips. Don Mattingly, upper deck. Got to get a pretty severe angle for you guys to see it. Legend in the making, Mookie Betts. This is recent, I think this is last year. Yeah, 2018. Hank Aaron Award for Giancarlo Stanton. Andre Dawson, legend. Mike Trout, opening day. Yeah, we've got some very modern ones now. Bryce Harper, Ben Gamble, Father's Day. Breakthrough, Francisco Lindor. Lots of holograms here. We got a 70 Bowman. Yeah, somebody will have to explain this one to me because that is definitely the Bowman B up there. And on the back it shows, you know, maybe it's just Bowman reprinting a Topps card. Eh, Topps branding is all over it. Not sure what that's all about. Uh, breakthrough, Stephen Piscotti. Roger Maris, MVP. Cal Ripken, this has got to be a reprint. <laughs> yeah, that would have been too cool. Yeah, it's going to take a while to go through all these. Rookie Cup, Chipper Jones, but that's a reprint as well. David Ortiz Perspectives. More die cut, Lords of the Diamond, Mike Piazza. Chipper Jones, Honus Wagner, Ernie Banks. Yeah, i got to see what these cards are about, too. Oh, the 1981 is the copyright on those. Colin Moran, Top 100. That is from 2015. Hunter Pence, Chrome, Hunter Renfro, Freshman Flash, Brad Ziegler, Prism, A-Rod, Race to Aaron. Uh, he never made it. That is from Topps Gold. Wow, wow, great variety in this uh, 
bizarre collection. I would double down on this in a heartbeat. Tanaka on Jackie Robinson Day. Chris Bryant, MVP. Mike Trout, Jackie Robinson Day. Reggie Jackson. That is a thick card. Mike Trout, then and now. Nick Castellanos. Anthony Rizzo, Chrome Heritage. Opening day, that's the Blue Wave parallel. Got a Frank Thomas, Gallery of Stars. Put him with the other Frank. Oh boy, yeah, again, again, childhood coming back, seeing some of these cards. Cespedes, same with Alex Reyes there. It's a rookie card, but that's all there is to it, no numbering. Dylan Batances. Manny Machado, I got that checkerboard. Kirby Puckett, there we go. That is from 93 Upper Deck. Addison Russell, Future Star. Gary Sanchez, Future Star. Very cool. Mark McGuire hitting his 70th of the season. Ricky Henderson, career stolen base. Chasing history. Well, he made a lot of history. Buster Posey celebrating with the Giants. Superstar celebrations. That is that Brian Wilson, I believe, catcher or the closer at the time. Another Rhino. Lucky number seven. Uh, Joey Votto, Stadium Club. I'm a huge Joey Votto fan, too, so it's too bad this is the first one. Generation Now, Jonathan Papelbon. Ichiro continuing to chase 3,000 hits. 424, of course, was his record-breaking number for hits in a season. 1,500 RBI. Opening day card, Miguel Cabrera. All-Star Game, Josh Peterson. Holy <laughs> bizarreness. <laughs> Dueling die cuts. Vincent Velasquez and Jorge Alfaro. That is Bowman Chrome from 2014. Season ticket, Clayton Kershaw. Jeremy Hellickson making their mark. Greatest American Heroes, A-Rod. Let's see when that is from. We've got a interestingly cut hater. Is that, is that Josh Hader? Uh, oh, yeah, it's an A-Rod's card. is numbered to 2,500. That is from 1998. And yes, indeed, that's Josh Hader. I had no idea he started out with Houston. And that is well before his hair grew. Jerks and Profar, top 100. Blake Snell, Youth Impact. A mini, Carlos Correa. League leaders from Prestige, A-Rod and Jim Tomey. That's a, kind of a thick card, too. Playing with Passion, Griffey. Out of the Gate, Trevor Story. Nomar, <laughs> Race to Aaron. Bryce Harper rookie card. And of course that's not really a Bryce Harper rookie card. <laughs> it's just a fake out. And there's a see-through. What do we have? Another Nomar. Future star Addison Russell. Chris Bryant. Old design. Justin Verlander. Cut above. And there's die cut. Elite series A-Rod from Don Russ. Oh yeah, I remember these. So, uh, so monumental and stoic looking, these marble <laughs> framed all-star cards from Ultra 92. Roy Halladay. That is cool. 1999 rookie. Oh, that's a great card. I love that. I was a big fan of his. Just pretty devastating when he found out he passed away. Gary Sheffield. I don't know what this is. It's funny, this used to be uh, really popped out at the bottom, but this insert card doesn't have that texture. But yeah, Sheffield, back with the Marlins. Light Force, Syndergaard from Topps Bunt. Andrew Jones, rookie. Pennant edition. Steven Strasburg, that's cool. N a little extra space on the top. Well, I guess the card behind it does too, so maybe that's just how, they, how all of that series is cut. Ichiro Perspectives. And Miggy. All right, going back in time here to a uh, set from Yoohoo. Thurman Munson. Mike Piazza. It's funny, it says Game Bat. Obviously, it's not a relic. Lou Gehrig. Oh, yeah, I remember this, the Ted Williams set. I had a bunch of these cards. Oh, this one's numbered to 19,000 plus. Uh, and horribly cut. Edgar Martinez, another recent Hall of, Hall of Fame inductee. It's tough to get a good view on that one. But, uh, but there you have it. 
Platinum Power, Mike Piazza. Triple Threads Heroes. It's got to be Frank Robinson. Yeah, Frank makes Triple Crown win official. From Tops Triple Threads. There has to be some value on this. 2006. Chasing History. Stolen Bases, Lou Brock. The guy who uh, Ricky Henderson finally unseated as the Stolen Base champion. Chasing History. Career Home Runs, Babe Ruth. Roy Holiday, NLDS no hitter. Roy Campanella, that is a nice looking card. Hank Aaron, career home runs. Willie Mays, 600 home runs. Lots of these chasing history cards, they're nice. This looks like Bowman, but what in the world could this be? Ball Street, Ball Street News, I have no idea. New idea. And then Stan the Man Musil, Candy City Team. Crazy Bizarre Javi Baez card. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like a scroll or a wave. It is a Bowman Chrome. I have no idea what the, what the premise was behind this one, but it is cool. And even with that little, uh, that little corner, it's not bent. So these are in good shape. Oh, there we go. Look at that shot. That's beautiful. Um, camera. Camera work. Um, Bryce Harper, new age performers. He should be wearing a crystal and viewing someone's aura. Roger Clemens, red hot from 95 Pinnacle. Power players, Kershaw. Manny Ramirez, still with the Indians here. Fortune 15. Chris Bryant, five tool. That's a really cool looking card. Pudge Rodriguez, Mike Piazza, Victor Martinez. Donruss Zenith. Yeah, those are some exceptional. What a boring looking back. You have all that negative black space. Um, yeah, but very cool collection of solid hitters. And from 2005, Victor Martinez was not established yet, so that could have been a really lame third member of that team, but he ended up being good. Power player, Barry Bonds. Mike Piazza, long ball leaders, 477 foot home run. Mike Piazza from Don Ross. Sammy Sosa, got the hologram down there. Hollow view effects. And yeah, right, that's what we got here. It's a 2010 Tops, the reprint of a classic Nolan Ryan, his first solo card. Kyle Seeger, and that checkerboard, I know there's a name for it, but it's a refractor of some sort. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Leaf Rookies and Stars, for real, number 2500. And uh, yeah, that is a young Vlad Sr. from 98. Christian Arroyo, Bowman, it's a purple. That is an absolutely bizarre, awkward, weird pose. Mickey Mantle, the batting champ, crown on. Uh, Griffey Jr., home run king, Bonds from 95, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> that is awesome, from 97. What a psych out, because I saw the 95 behind it. Unbelievable. Strange card. All those holograms are of crowns. Cyclone Squad. Got a Bagwell. Chris Bryant then and now. Neil Walker. Heritage. Record Seal. I have this card. I remember that one. Another medalists. Olerud, Palmero, and Frank Thomas. Well, yeah, Frank Thomas for sure. I mean, those guys are both legends in their moments, but Thomas is an all-time legend. More Ichiro. This is a crazy thick card. Alex Gordon, rookie card. He has blossomed into a great, solid player. Tops Heritage, memorable moments. Ortiz, that's from 2012. Legends of the game, Thurman Munson. Dustin Pedroia, StarQuest. Clayton Kershaw. It's a Don Russ green border. No numbering on that. Titanic Taters, Barry Bonds, Bowman Chrome, Ryan Zimmerman, and Jose Bautista. Couple <laughs> interesting die cuts here. We have Carlos Gonzalez, Cargo, and Yu Darvish. Two guys that uh, both played for the Cubs this year well past their prime. Not Whole Gang, A Rod, Albert Pujols in the zone, Juan Marichal zeroes in. Baseball flashback from Topps Heritage. Gold Standard, Willie McCovey. Jim Palmer, 
So tops, we have a Gio Gonzalez purple parallel with chrome. And lastly, oh, all right, Chris Sale, a prism from Topps Chrome just uh, a couple years ago, 2017. But I did tell you that because they couldn't send me the stuff that was photoed in the, in the listing, that they were gonna send me some other freebie cards. Now, I honestly think the stuff that they sent me was better than what was put on their eBay listing, so I would've been very happy either way. But let's take a look and see what they sent. Of course, this is not one, this is one I paid for separately. But we have, now you know, as I say all the time, I'm not a huge fan of manufactured relics, but that's cool. Jose Abreu with the MLB logo, kind of animated on there, commemorative patch, player's weekend patch, that is. Uh, beyond that, sweet swing, David Ortiz jersey. I gotta take a look and make sure that's, or see if that's game used or not. And then after that, another relic, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn from Threads, I'm guessing that's Triple Threads, 2008. And the David Ortiz card, which has a $8 price tag on the back, uh, it says it what is a game used jersey. And we'll just jump to this last one. Paul Molitor, a, another manufactured patch from the Brewers in 1970, uh, from 2011 tops. Oh, the, the Gwyn card is numbered to 250, and this was worn by Gwyn. So these are both game used relics. Uh, so yeah, I am exceptionally pleased with my eBay purchase. Uh, it seems like an insane steal now. I gotta go see and if you put up another 200 card lot on, uh, on eBay for sale, because I will totally double down and uh, pick up another one of these bizarre grab bags. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you down the road somewhere.